welcome to this tutorial about the app to scratch round trip on scratch version 8. This tutorial will guide you through scratch and avid workflow and also help you in how to export an AAF file from avid and how to conform this AAF file on scratch, grading the material and export it back and then how to relink this new media on avid. First, let's start from avid showing you this edit that was done using some RED and Sony F55 shots. All these files were imported to Avid using the AMA link option. This way, all these files were linked by the AMA import, but weren't converted to any Avid format so far. Once you have your edit done, you can export an AAF to Scratch using the export option. From here, click the options to see which preferences are selected to generate your AAF file. Be sure you have the AAF Add Protocol checked. And for export method, use the option Link to. Don't export media. This will create an AAF with the correct metadata, but with no media exported, since we are going to conform the original raw footage from scratch. Once exported, now the AAF can be conformed on scratch. So let's go to our Scratch system to see how it works. I've created this project called Avid Round Trip to be used on this tutorial. So let's enter it to conform the AAF. As you can see, this is an empty project with just one single construct on it. Now, from Media menu, let's click on Load Conform to select the AAF file we just exported from Avid. After selecting the AAF, Scratch opens the Conform window showing all the information from this AAF file. First thing to do here is to show Scratch where the original media is using this From Folder option. Just select the main folder where your media resides using the Set button. Since you have used more than one file format on this Avid project, RED and Sony, we can leave the All Files option selected on the File Formats option. This will force Scratch to look for all formats available to load. Now, let's click on Start Matching with the All button checked. Scratch now is going to confirm all the events from this AAF and shows you the amount of clips found. In this case, one per event, which is good. Once finished, just be sure you have the option to New Construct checked. This way, Scratch will create a new construct with your conformed timeline. Now click on Assemble. You can see now that a new construct was created with the name of our AAF file. Now let's go to the player and then to the matrix to do some color grading on these shots. But first, let's scan our shots to fit with our project resolution, in this case HG. Let's do a strong color grading here so we can see the difference once we relink the media on Avid. Let's put more saturation on this shot and get it more blue. That's good, so I can copy this grading to apply to the other shots on my timeline. Ok, done. Now that my grading is done, I can export these files back to Avid to be relinked on the timeline. To do it, click on the output from the construct. Now, selecting the main output node, click on Add Output and select the MXF export. This will create a new output node. Now, clicking on Format Settings, you can set the codec you want to use. In this case, I will use 1080p, 2397, DNxHG175X. I have no audio on this case, but you could select the audio channels in case you have some. Now, going back to Output Settings, you can set the media path where the files will be created using the Browse. Let's create a new directory called From Scratch. Done. Now, from File Name Specification, you need to set the source name as your file mask. That's very important because that's the way I've denamed the files from AMA import. This way, you will be able to relink the media on Avid. To do it, just click on this field MXF AMT export. This will open the file name specification dialog. From here, 
let's delete the default name and select the option source name from our preset window. Once select, click on insert. Ok, now let's select this output node and click on process to render it. Once the render is done, you can go to the folder where the media was rendered and move or copy all the MXF files to the Avid Media Files folder. You can easily see these files using the filter search option, type in .mxf. Now going back to Avid, let's create a new bin and name it as From Scratch. So now, let's just drag and drop the AF files from our rendered folder. Very nice, as you can see, all these clips come with the color grading done on Scratch. Now, it's time to relink this new media to our timeline. To do this, select all shots from this new bin. Go to our sequence, in this case name it as Beach Sequence, and from Clip menu select Relink. When you relink, don't relink from the drive, but rather from the open bins. Now, you want to relink by start timecode, as your timecode, and then the clip name as your source name. This is why we have exported using the source name on Scratch. Once you click OK, it starts to relink and creates another sequence called Relinked. When you play it back, you can see the sequence with the new grading and you have successfully done your round trip from Avid to Scratch to Avid. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next tutorial.